So we're going to open up 3ds Max here. You can see I'm inside my 3ds Max environment. And the first thing you're going to do is bring in your model. We're going to, to for the sake of simplicity, use the time-honored teapot model. Uh, wonderful. Okay. So we have the Max Demo Teapot up here. And maybe give that just a few more subdivisions so it'll look nice. Um, okay. And we're going to find the exporter. Now the exporter is available underneath the Helpers tab. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to see an exporter option. Okay, when you click on exporter, you'll see the Wild Pockets exporter available here. To drop the exporter in the scene, all you just click, and it'll select it, and then click anywhere in the scene, and it will draw this simple little egg guy here that will scale with my camera regardless. Um, and this is the actual exporter device um, in the scene. To use the exporter, now that it's dropped in, go to the Modify tab, and you will see a series of options related to this modifier when it's selected. Um, so that's simple enough. The modifier panel itself has support for adding models, which is used to add models to this queue of things we can export. We export multiple things at once. Um, edit, which will allow us to change things we've already made and remove, we'll obviously remove things from it. So let's go ahead and add one. And it'll pop up this dialog here. Um, at this point, we're going to need to enter in our Wild Pockets user ID, which at this point is, um, I'm going to use my ID, so put in Nikio and we'll go to the library file name which is the name of the asset and we'll say teapot max test and you can add spaces in here you can add anything you want it doesn't really matter but i'm going to go with teapot max test sounds good and we're going to export the entire scene if you'd like to target meshes specifically you can click export meshes add and it will pull up the add dialog and you can actually target specific meshes in here in this example, we're not going to worry about that. You can also export animations, um, which I'll come to in another tutorial in the future. So we do have support for both, but we're in, right now we're going to focus just on the model and getting it into the web. So we have export the entire scene. Um, I could add a series of tags here. Uh, teapot. Test model. You get the idea. Anything I want to add to help me find this later on in the, the global library, actually. doesn't really matter. We have actual physics properties we could set. Um, if I wanted to set this in our engine, this has mass, so if I happen to know this is a 50 kilogram teapot, I can do that. I also have options to combine meshes. Usually it's guided to have that on. Um, the rest of these we don't really need to worry about right now. So we're going to click OK. We have a teapot in here. Again, if I wanted to make a change to that, all I need to do is select it and go to Edit. We get the Edit menu and we can make all these changes here. All right, so we have our model set up here. And we probably want to put this directly into 3ds Max, so we're going to go to open the gallery setup page. Now this will put us directly onto the Wild Pockets website with a viewable version of our model. So that's what we're going to check. And WP 1.5 compatible is if you've published a game in the past using the Wild Pockets exporter and you have an asset that you're updating, we've slightly changed the way um, some materials are handled in the engine. So if you're working on a 1.5 compatible game, you'd want to check this. For most users, they're just going to leave that blank. Um, okay, so now this is selected. I'm going to click Export Now. It's going to prompt me for my password, which I'll enter here. Okay, and it's going to pop up this uh, dialog right here. That's actually curl, exporting the model. And as soon as it finishes export, you can see it popped up a window for me and dropped me on the web page on the Wildpocket site. And you can see it's loaded my asset, and boom, teapot embedded 3D in the web instantly.